Heaven's Queen, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The belief in Mary's assumption, the conviction that she was taken up to heaven, body and soul, has been a cornerstone of Christian faith since the earliest days of the church. This profound mystery, rooted in ancient traditions, reflects the deep love and reverence Christians have always held for the mother of Jesus. The earliest Christians found evidence of this truth in their liturgies and the heartfelt homilies delivered in honor of Mary's passing. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and God bless you. The term assumption comes from the Latin verb assumere, meaning to take to oneself. In this context, it signifies that Jesus, in his infinite love, took Mary to be with him in heaven. This wasn't just a theological concept, but a lived reality for many early believers, including Martin Luther, who in 1522 affirmed, Indeed, no Christian doubts that the most worthy mother of the Lord lives with her beloved son in heavenly joy. In 1950, Pope Pius XII formalized this long-held belief by declaring it a dogma of the Church. The Immaculate Mother of God, ever Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul into heaven. This declaration emphasized that Mary's assumption is a truth revealed by God, binding on all Catholics as a core tenet of faith. Mary's assumption was a unique privilege, granted because she was free from sin, including original sin. Death and decay are the consequences of sin, but it was not fitting that the Mother of God, who bore the Savior of the world, should suffer such corruption. Thus, God assumed her body and soul into heaven, preserving her purity and sanctity. The ancient text known as Transistus Marie, attributed to Melito of Sardis, gives a vivid account of Mary's passing. Surrounded by the apostles and angels, her soul ascended to heaven and her body was buried. However, on the third day, Christ himself reunited her soul with her body and took her to paradise, accompanied by the songs of angels. This narrative, though apocryphal, powerfully conveys the deep faith and devotion of early Christians towards Mary. But Mary's story doesn't end with her assumption. She continues her role as the Queen of Heaven, appearing in various places around the world, such as Fatima and Lourdes, to guide and inspire the faithful. Her entry into heaven, as described in another text, was a moment of celestial celebration, with saints and angels welcoming her as their queen and her son crowning her with glory. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and God bless you.